Uh, morning YouTube. Um, we've had rain for five days and the garden the weeds are taken over and the guy that I was supposed to get the um, mulch from from the trees that he cuts down is no longer in business so the mulch isn't going to happen but our garden we're going to have to weed like crazy um, as you can see it's terrible but it's muddy we haven't been able to get in the garden for a week and it's just terrible the, the weeds are getting way out of hand so we're going to have to get to working on it hopefully they're talking a couple days with no rain before we get some more so it might dry out enough where we can get in it um, I don't know if you can see that ditch down there but yesterday we got probably an inch of rain in about 45 minutes and that was bank full it's still got water in it now but it was completely full now, pardon the wind. I don't know if you show up or come up on that, but anyway, um, the rain has stopped us from doing a lot of stuff here. Um, our sweet corn, oh, that's just nothing but a weed patch. We're going to have to get in here and get on that. Um, we didn't get it spot planted. I was going to do that last week. And it started raining and it hasn't quit. So this is it for our sweet corn. We ain't going to have much out of our garden for that. What did come up is pretty good, but what didn't, I was going to replant and I didn't get that done. But today's video is on water. Um, I got the well drilling rig cleaned up. Um, this pit here is our water pit. <clears throat> this is what we fill up with water. Um, you can't see this very much because we knocked the weeds down in it, but this is the sediment catch pond. Uh, when it comes out of the, the hole, which, let me uncover it and I'll show it to you. There's our hole. I'm down right while I was last fall before I quit I was down about 30 feet um, I don't know how much I've lost yet because it'll fill it filled in after I pulled it out and over the winter and with all this rain that we've had it's washed down in there and filled some of it up so I'm figuring I'm about 20 25 foot it won't take long to get back down to 30 feet but we were in rock and it's slow going. Now this rig, I part of it I built and part of it I bought. Um, that This here is a uh, post hole digger, a two-man post hole digger. Uh, it's four stroke. Uh, I don't know what size it is. It's like a five horse or something like that. Um, six horse um, it does a real good job. The swivel, this here, is what puts the water down the couplers and goes down. I've got pipe that goes down and then it turns and this is what they call the swivel when I hook water to it. That pushes the water down in there with that pump that comes out of that far hole. And like I say, the sediment that comes out of the hole um, comes up, runs across, and then goes into the sediment pond, and then from the sediment pond it goes into the other uh, holding, or the catch pond, I guess you'd call it, and that's what I pump back through and go back down the hole. Um, the bit that I've got is a rock bit. Um, when I get this running, I'm going to have another video. But this is a rock bit. It's carbide 
or whatever you want to call it, these things chew up the rock. But it's only, when I get into this, the rock that I'm in is really hard. And it, at times I was only going an inch an hour with this. And then we've got the pipe, and there's unions. There's one right here where my foot's at, there's a union, and they're five foot pieces. Um, I've got, I don't know, 15 feet right there, and then I've got more pipe up there, as you can see. But uh, that's the rig. I mean, like I say, some of it I built, some of it I bought, and uh, this is going to be our water for the trailer, and the off-grid water system is going to have, all right, I'm going to have a solar pump in the hole, and I'm going to have a, a building right here, a small building, once I get the hole done, and I'm going to pump out of that with a solar pump into the tanks, just like I got at the A-frame. Um, but i got to figure out where I'm going to put them and how I'm going to put them in. I don't have room in the trailer to put a big tank like this. Last year, when we was living in the in the trailer, before we moved down to the A-frame, um, I had two 55-gallon barrels that I could use inside the trailer, but I can't get one of these in there. And one of these tanks, for the two of us, lasts probably, oh, seven days. We go through 275 gallons in seven days, and that's flushing the stool and taking showers in the bath and um, dishes and stuff like that. It lasts us about seven days. Uh, if we didn't have, I wanted to put in a uh, uh, composting toilet, but that's not going to happen because the wife doesn't particularly want to look at the graphic part of the <laughs> the stool, but anyway we got to have a flush tool, stool, so that takes more water. But what I'm going to do is, alright, I'm going to bury a line from the pump, or from the well. I'm going to bury a line up, and I'm going to come up here to the house, and that's where the bathroom's at and the main water inside the trailer. And that's where I'm going to put um, the tank. Or on the out Either I'm going to build onto the outside and put this up. I might extend this deck out and put it up there or just build a whole new suction to put this on and then I can get access it from the outside. Um, <clears throat> the water comes in, I, I can see that door there where that window is, is about where the water used to come in. And we used to get our water from the A-frame down there. There's a water line that's buried coming up here. Yeah, it's comes through the garden, comes up, comes down through here, and it goes in while well, that ladder's at. Underneath the trailer there's an access door. You can see that piece of plywood there. Anyway, that's where the water comes into the house. But I'm going to redo it. It's not hooked up right now. Um, before we bought the A-frame, they shut the water off, so we had to haul our water in. And uh, same system. 12 volt pump, like what's in an RV, pumped it through the house. It worked good. I mean, I, I had, we had plenty of pressure and everything, which we still have down there. But like I say, I'm going to put a uh, well casing in. I'm going to put the solar pump in it, and I'm going to pump it from there to one of these tanks that I've got. Now this tank here is for hauling my water for my well drilling rig. Um, it leaks. There's one of the valves on the bottom leaks, so and I can't find any, but it's that's no big deal. I can change that around. So, I, but anyway, I just use it for the. I put it on the back end of the uh, tractor that I built, and uh, with this the suspension that's on that tractor, it's like six ton. I can haul this full of water, and I don't even know it's on there. And um, I fill that hole with it, that one big hole. And I keep water going into that all the time. I have to haul water probably, I don't know, 
to keep the rig going it probably takes mm, maybe three loads a day sometimes four depends on what it is um, last year I had a buddy of mine helping me and <laughs> he likes to indulge himself with Keystone Light now I used to drink beer but I have gout and gout is a like it's painful <laughs> and uh, I, that flares it up big time so I can't drink any more beer um, I can drink wine but that's very seldom but anyway this is the rig that uh, I'm going to drill with and like I say once I get it set up you'll see everything working I said this will spin the the swivel is where the water comes in and goes down the stems and down into the hole and like I say with the rock bit in there it's about an inch an hour it's a slow process and then I've got the winch this here that this raises it and lowers it um, some people will put weight on this to help push it down um, I just let it dig I mean it just let it bounce and it goes through the it does all right I mean I've seen a lot of people put like a hundred pounds or two hundred pounds worth of wheel uh, wheel weights or even uh, they'll put a uh, weight bar on here for like what comes out of a gym and they'll put the bar across here and bolt it on or clamp it on and then they'll put the weights on the end of it and they'll keep like 200 pounds on it or 300 whatever they got um, to keep pressure down on it to make it dig faster but when I'm not in rock this thing you have a hard time keeping them five foot chunks of pipe on there because it just drills like crazy now there's uh, what is it? Um, I can't think of the bits I've got somewhere around here. I don't know where they're at, but uh, there's three different bits. I've got that rock bit that's on the end of the pipe now. Um, then there's another one that's just what the, uh, I'd call it a spade bit, and uh, that's if you're just in regular ground regular dirt uh, it makes a four and a half inch hole I'm gonna have a four inch casing in this um, right now that rock bits only a three and a half and or a three inch I don't remember which it is I think it's a three inch but once I get my hole down through then I go through with a four inch and clean it out to where I can get my casing down and this is my casing here this is what I'm using. It's thin wall. They don't. A lot of people in the drilling business don't use it, but um, it's easier to get down in the hole. I don't have a hydraulic press or anything like that. Drilling rig, and I'm going to use this. Um, then I've got this here piece is what's going to be at the bottom, and. It is 20 foot, and I don't know if you can see this, but there's little grooves that I've taken a, a grinder and put slots in it. It's like a well screen, and it lets water in. Now this is done all the way up to 20 feet. It's all the way up to the end. There's some little slots in there. and that's where the water is going to come into the well and it's going to be like I say kind of filtered through them holes or them slots and that's where I'm going to get my water it'll kind of double screen it I'm going to have a screen on the well too but um, it comes with one when you get the pump um, but anyway this is what's going to be in the bottom and it's going to be cased all the way down the footage that I'm going to try alright water is at 35 feet here um, according to the wells at the A-frame and then there's a house just on the other side of these trees here and it's 35 feet to the level of the water in both wells so 
I got about another five foot before I hit the bottom or hit water on this and I'm going to go either 60 or 80 feet total uh, after after I hit water I'll have probably I don't know 20 some feet of water so I should be all right with that that wall casing uh, for water wise um, the pump that I'm going to put down in there is about a hundred and hundred and eighty five dollars I think it is and then it's another twenty some dollars for the sensor because I don't want it to run all the time and it would overflow my tank so in the tank you buy that twenty dollar sensor um, mainly all it is is wire and then it's got two deals on it with a float and it'll shut off I'll do a video on that when once I get it all done but anyway it goes inside the tank here and when the water gets up to the top it shuts the pump off when it goes down it pumps it back up and brings it up it'll go down I don't know someplace right around in here I think is is the setting that I'm gonna have it at and it's gonna once it gets down to there it's gonna fill it back up and then shut off again um, it's not a very big pump I don't remember what the gallons per hour is on it um, it doesn't it will not work like a regular 110 or 220 pump because it doesn't build enough pressure um, and it's only like a half inch line quarter inch line or three-eighths line that comes up to the barrel but it will pump water and it'll be solar powered and that's what we're trying to get to um, the only thing that I'm worried about being going off grid is my refrigeration we've got a freezer and a refrigerator and I checked out the um, uh, consumption on a gas refrigerator uh, it's cheaper just to <laughs> not use it because it's it uses quite a bit it'll use probably 20 gallons of uh, LP in seven days and uh, I mean they work good I've, I've got one in my camper but um, that I tore apart and I've used it a couple times but it doesn't it's too expensive so we're going to have at least until I can get enough solar panels and enough batteries we're going to have everything off grid except for the wash or the the um, refrigerator and the freezer that'll be the only thing that will I'll have uh, two plug-ins off of the grid for or on grid for the refrigerator and the freezer but anyway that's what we got going on right now um, the well now this one here this line here goes on the bottom of the pump down here and this is the one this is the inlet that pumps it out of that pit that far pit all right then this hose comes from the end of that and goes into that swivel and that's how the water gets pumped through it and then I've got another pump like this that's smaller and I take that over to the water source on this lake which is oh, probably a mile I suppose away anyway I run up there and I've got another one of these small pumps or one of these water pumps like this I call it a trash pump I've got a smaller one and that's what I fill the barrel up or the 275 gallon tote I'll have that loaded up here today I'm working on this today like I say we got good weather it quit raining quit storming and um, we're getting things going again it's just been a um, slow process this year with the rain that we've had and it's been the wettest we've had for quite a while um, like I say the wife's gonna work on the garden um, I'll have to till some but it's it's still too muddy to even get in there like I say we got an inch in about 45 minutes yesterday morning and it flooded everything I mean it was <laughs> it was bad um, 
that's about it today. Um, the rabbits, they're doing good. Um, the A-frame, I don't know what we're going to do with that yet. I'm hoping we're going to move back into the trailer, like I say. But next year, we're going to work on this. I'm going to try to get the basement to where we can live in the basement. And uh, that will definitely be off-grid. All this is going to get tore down. Um, you've seen how far it was rotted on my past videos. And uh, I've found more rotten spots. And uh, it's a shame, but you can only spend so much money and this thing is not efficient at all it is hard to heat and hard to cool um we haven't had hot weather yet but what we have had um 85 degrees um 88 degrees and i mean it the humidity and it's play this this a-frame is hot it's, you would think the trailer would be hot, but it's not as bad as what the A-frame is. So, and that, to tear it, if I do the basement and then have to tear it down, we're liable to damage stuff down in the basement. So that's why we decided to go back to the A-frame, or back to the trailer until we can get this tore down, and then we're going to put a uh, living quarters in the basement. Um, the foundation's good. I just have to con knock some concrete out and stuff like that, and I can start working on the inside. But uh, the trailer, the water that, I've, that I'm getting for the trailer is eventually going to come down here. Once I get that hooked up, then once we get this tore down here, we're going to put the water from there down to here. So we're going to have water at both places. That way, if we need to water the garden or something, we can do that. Um, if I do put a, I'm not going to put a flat roof on that. I'm going to put a um, angled roof, and I'm going to have a rainwater catch system on it. And we're going to have a, a cistern uh, for our water in here. I mean, I'm still going to keep the barrels like I got, but we're going to have a another source of water with the rainwater catch system. Um, that's next year's project, like I say. But uh, anyway. Thanks for watching, YouTube. We'll have more videos on the well drilling. Like I say, it'll be going, yeah, we're supposed to have two days of no rain, so hopefully I can get it running today because the ground's saturated, and then by when I back this truck or the, the tractor in there with 275 gallons of water, it's going to leave some ditches down there, and we're just going to have to fix it afterwards. I mean, it's a mess over there anyway. Um, but we did knock the weeds down. We're getting ready to go on that. We just got done with that this morning. And uh, we'll get her going. Until we get the drilling rig going, uh, we'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.